Hi guys, welcome to a new video. Today's video is a cook and clean with me. So I'm going to clean a lot, but I'm also going to show you what I'm cooking for Sunday night's dinner. It's a simple dinner, but a really good one. I've gotten a lot of requests for more recipes and I'm going to show you two traditional Dutch recipes for dinner and dessert. The dinner is a Dutch mash. It's called andijvie stampelt. And it's basically endive with potatoes and I'm eating it with sausage today. The dessert is called Aretjes cake and it is extremely delicious. <laughs> and both recipes couldn't be more simple. It's really easy. So if you want to know how to prepare those two recipes, stay tuned. When it is weekend, I like to make a nice dessert. And this one is one that you have to prepare the night before because it has to set in the fridge overnight. Now it is a traditional Dutch dessert or, well, it's eaten as a dessert, but also on parties like a cake, you know. And it's called Aretjes cake. Here are all the ingredients that you need. So here I have 150 grams of dark chocolate, 200 grams of butter and 200 grams of sugar. You melt those together. And then three tablespoons of cocoa powder. And here I have 200 grams of cookies and you have to make those a little smaller but not too small like this is perfectly fine i'm going to do that in a minute and you also need some heavy cream about 100 milliliters i'm going to melt the butter a little bit more and then i will add the chocolate and the cocoa powder is well combined you pour it over the cookies and then wait a little bit before you add the heavy cream because you don't want to add it when the mixture is too hot all the time looks like you're changing and all well, why didn't you why didn't you call something in the air always something in the air Make sure to spread it out evenly and press with your spoon. And now you can set it in the fridge. I let it in the fridge overnight. But if you're in a hurry, I think you should have it in the fridge at least three to four hours. But you can always check by cutting off a slice and see if it has set enough. And that is it for the recipe. I will show you once it's done.
come with me I'm not really asking We'll get away To a place where we don't know About to see The world in action What we can be Life with no distractions We'll get away This is what we waited for
it's time to prepare dinner, the Dutch mash, it's called endive stampels. I have washed and chopped a big head of endive. Now I take a little bit to boil for my daughter, she just started solids. And here I have boiled some potatoes, I'm going to add the endive to the potatoes. I keep the stove on and let it go for about 3 more minutes, so the endive is not completely raw anymore. Now I'm going to add salt and mustard and also butter and milk. I'm using oat milk here. Now with this potato masher I'm going to mash everything together. Here I am blending my daughter's food. And now everything is ready and it's time to serve dinner. I also fried some sausages. Most people eat andai stampled with some kind of meat. So I think the most common is to fry little cubes of bacon. But when I grew up we always ate it with an egg and slasaus and slasaus is like a salad dressing, a little bit like mayonnaise. Now the exact measurements for everything and the entire recipes for this dinner and also for the dessert are in the description box. <laughs> So I have my pretzel cake here, took it out of the fridge and I don't know if you can tell but it has set beautifully. This is what it looks like on the inside. Now here you have it, delicious artichoke cake. Let me know if you try it too, I'm really curious how you like it. We are really going to enjoy these and I'm also going to put um, most of it in the freezer for next weekend. But yeah, this is Aretje's Cake.
really asking We'll get away to a place where we don't know About to see the world in action What we can be, life with no distractions We'll get away, this is what we waited for 